we're pre-recording this, so they need to tune in on these lives, and then we'll edit it and upload it. Tune in. Oh, we're on. And once we see ourselves, we're on. It's your girl, Mick Yee, 360 Radio, Connected Radio, the Yee area. Um, we're in here. We're in here tonight. We just had a really cool interview with Goldie Gold from the Federation. Hey, Hennessy, did you pay the rent? Because that fucking landlord's in here tripping right on here my too. set. So he, I told him to talk to you. He wants to know why I have... 16 lights on um anyway i digress it's your girl mickey 360 radio connected radio the yee area we're live sacramento capital of california Hello. i thought that the fucking heat was over but suddenly it is back so much love to the heat it's like 95 again i thought it was gonna be soup timber super not um we just got out of our interview with goldie gold come get this work 2.0 he gave us some wine and uh, he gave us some pre-rolls and some frosted donut weed. And now we got Hooker Boy in the building. So Hooker Boy, for those who don't know and who may be living under a rock, who are you and where are you from? Uh, I'm Hooker Boy. I'm from Oakland, California. This don't come down? It does. Oh. Well, it'll, it, you don't, yeah, it's just okay. like kind of stuck. There you go. Uh, <coughs> Hooker Boy, Oakland, California. I'm a film director, a videographer. And how Father. did you get started in that um, industry? Uh, I just, like, I wanted to see how, uh, like, TV work, you know? Were you always interested yeah, in, was inter in the back in part? The back part of TV, like, I wanted to see how it worked. Like, right. I wanted to see how they were switching the cameras and things like that, so. Mm, that's just, dope. Did you take classes in this, or yeah, did you just all self-taught? Self-taught. Self-taught. And he has shot some of the most notorious videos in this region. Mm -hmm. Like, and he's been doing this shit for as long as I have been doing this. We st sure. we see each other at mutual events all the time, and it's like, oh, Hooker Boys. I just saw him at the Chris, Chris Club mm -hmm. in Vallejo. I snuck in to see Ice Mees. Ice Mees. And then I saw uh, Hook was in there passing out flyers. I'm like, I have him on my show in like two weeks. Super. So um, it's always nice to have an in with the videographer, especially one um, that is as dope as you. And I Thank do uh, follow a lot of the artists that you work with. Um, a lot of the art. Before I met you, I already knew the, I shoot my video with Hook a Boy. I already knew that before I met you because I've been watching their videos for so long, you know. Yes, yes, but um, what your, what's your most memorable video shoot uh, or movie shoot? Can you remember what sticks out the most for you? Doesn't have to my be first big. One, anything. My first movie. And your first movie. It was big. It was big trouble in Little Oakland. Um, Bathgate. Mm -hmm. um, He's in here on the twenty third. Yeah, Bathgate. He hooked me up. He uh, uh, he put me on. He showed me how to really to uh to really do movies. Like he showed me how to. He's a super. Blue, he's a super cool and, dude. Uh, like he, shit. I didn't know that I would be able to just walk <clears throat> up to him and book an interview with him. I've been listening to Play Bath on the radio. You know, <laughs> I've been listening to that my whole adult life and some teenage life, but I actually saw him at um, Vinny's in Concord at the 25th anniversary for Thiz. He was yeah, there. Yeah. Um, so I met him that night, and then we booked an interview. He's coming in here on the 23rd of September. He also has a new album that he's working on mm -hmm. and he's working on a rock group um was the last i heard so he's also got his hands in some rock music right now so shout out to Bavgate black mafia he's gonna be in here in like two weeks so keep your ears to the speakers on that so he kind of gave you a way in yeah, he gave me a blueprint he didn't give me a way in i was already you in. were in i so was in with oakland gone wild he showed you like oakland gone wild put me in the door oh i bet that was crazy yeah that put me in. that's i went viral before it wasn't such a thing. Yeah, before the internet, the digital, I went viral off of this E40 saying that little part. Even the people in the hood, because I used to just stand on MacArthur and just record fights and record people doing some side shows. Mm -hmm. and they see a camera, they're going to go crazy because there were cameras back then like that. So right. That's how I got my first niche into the game. I was just recording the hood shit like and it was uh when he said yeah. uh when he says 40s line he said sitting in my scraper watching oakland, oakland gone, gone wild, wild ta out yeah so, so what happened was french braid and twice bird i show i had showed french braid the footage i'm like look at all this footage and i had put it together it was called the bay guy game mm -hmm. right first it was called game recognized game in the bay and uh, jt came with mm -hmm. the bullshit so I changed it to the Bay Guy Gang. Love you, JP. So I changed it to the Bay Guy Gang, and then French Braves was like, we might as well just make it Oakland going wild, because that's this is wild right here. It is. Where, and that's where it came from. So I was like, yeah, for sure. So we put it out, Oakland going wild. They had the bigger uh, platform, the bigger name at the time. So 
and that's, that's cool that you're able to tell viral, stories man. about that like being that's why really went viral, viral before viral was viral right yeah, for sure because it's like i was telling somebody last week we didn't go live on instagram or youtube back in the old day you had to do a um it was a you stream or the letter U stream and that was like a way to go I've live been on there. or myspace was like another way you could go, go on and do live audio but we really we didn't, didn't have no live. like live anything no, we had no live right so <laughs> it's definitely nice to be able to talk to somebody with the same type of upbringing because all that trunk popping the trunk and selling out of your trunk like dvds was, cds ooh, man, i missed that it's a whole I made thirty thousand dollars off DVDs. yeah it's a whole different grind you know 30 bands it's definitely we saved thirty thousand dollars literally out off the of trunk DVDs. Yeah, that was only three thousand DVDs though mm -hmm. at ten dollars, so we we made thirty bands. And how did you get into the movie uh, business as far as shooting like film screenplays? Bath, Bath, Bath game. Mm -hmm. He came with me. He came with me. He was like, "Yo, videos like movies, so you might as well do a movie." Oh yeah. And I was like, "Yeah." He was like, he had a whole script, wrote, and that's my first time reading the script. If you go look back on my Instagram, I'm gonna repost it. It's, uh, he's showing me the script. He was over reading That's script. super dope. Yeah. And as far as casting roles, um, <coughs> how did you begin to do casting for your films? And how do you tell someone they're just not the right fit? Like, I, that would be my problem because I'm too nice. I'd mm. be like, oh, I have a role you, for every, you. Everybody has a role. There we go, yeah. You know why? Because this is another thing I learned from JT. Shout out JT Bigfinger. He, he told me, you write the movie and you tell them what to say. Okay. And you like, oh, say, say if we was in here, this is a scene. I'll tell you, you got to talk to me about a certain thing. So you say it in your own way. As long as you're talking about that topic, you can say it it's in your own way. It's a movie rule. Yeah. Yeah. You can say it in your own way. So you'll be comfortable instead of reading. Because when people read off the script, you know, some movies you could tell that they... It's scripted. Yeah, it's scripted. So mm -hmm. from freestyle, we, we script freestyle. Basically, I get a script, write it out for a treatment, and then you read it. For the, I, I'll tell you what to do. Basically. Damn. Well, I'm ready to get in the movie. Come on, let's go. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm Come ready. On. I'm ready. Come on, we need you. I we was need a made scene for here this. Like this. This could be like your radio station. You could be like the number one radio station in the Bay Area. You know how the radio stations come mm -hmm. on? This could be the radio station. I did um, shoot one scene one time with uh, Jay Synth came in here and needed me to be a PD like that, program mm -hmm. director yeah, on yeah. air. And uh, it was uh, his name was Ruben. Cannon, and he's actually Nick Cannon's brother, and he yeah. had a story to tell, and it was all about they wanted me them to come in and like wrap me up and tie me to my chair and like push me out of the way because they wanted to take over the desk. So I have done that in. A, a, it was a movie or a it video? was a video. It was yeah. like for the video, but that's the video they, never came video, out. That's what they did at Hyphy. Yeah, uh, I, I saw it when I was yeah, coming in. I'm I, like, this looks familiar. I, uh, I was there. I was there. That's why I met Goldie at Hyphy. What radio station was that? We were that trying was to Berkeley, figure that KPL, out. KBLX. KBLX. That was old school KBLX. Right off when you go down Ashby, right there to yeah, the side, you yeah. used to see that big old, big old. Uh, Satellite. Dish right there, yeah, satellite yeah. Mm -hmm. dish right there. Yeah, that was KBLX. Nice. The yeah, I was KBLX. watching that when we were walk yeah. when we were coming in here. So I did the behind the scenes for that video for that video shoot. Oh wow! There. So no wonder y'all are so yeah. tight. You've been you were there for that. The whole day. That was a long day. <laughs> I was. bet. Like two, three days. It was there for like three days. And that's a good, <clears throat> another thing you have to have as a videographer or a movie maker is, is patience, patience because sure. it's definitely working with all these different types of personalities and mm -hmm. artists. Mm -hmm. Artists are just a different breed, so you really have to be a patient, calm person. So yeah. I definitely and I'm not that in real life, but I am when in it comes work, to right. work. Yeah, yeah, I know that. <laughs> I would assume as much. Um, and I'm like messy when it comes to work. Like all oh, this will be all over everywhere, and then I'll be figuring it out. You got guys, is this all of? Because I'm thinking. It's a method to my madness. Yes, thinking. I'm yeah, thinking. everything else in my life can be a total disheveled mess, but this, this I can do yeah, with my eyes sure. closed. So I know, I know how you feel. Um, what is your favorite podcast to listen to right now, or radio show, or station, or who do you want to shout out? I like um, the podcasts I like are uh, Wallow and Gilly. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Me and I worth the game. Mm -hmm. I like that. They're funny. They're funny and they real though. It's it's, it's dope. Right? It's definitely real. I yeah. I would I watch that a I lot like too. My, uh, podcast, not a podcast. I like uh, reactions. What's his name? Oh. Mac Mac Mula. Yes. Mac Mula. With I like the, with the reaction videos. Yeah, reaction. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start doing reaction videos. And that's Stay all tuned. a new lane. Like all these yes. lanes could be coming out of all these different types of viral. And they make millions of dollars yeah. off of mm -hmm. that. 
For real. Yeah. I try to, I try anything I can, I try to do because you just you never know reactions? what's going to, because I'm, I don't know if you've figured this out about me or not yet, but I'm too nice. So I would be on there like, it's a great song. Um, I, yeah, I definitely hear potential. I just, even if it was me being funny, because I, I'd be clowning on shit sometimes, I just couldn't do it like, like on camera because then everybody would be like, she's not nice like that. Well, but that would be a good look because it would be a totally different view of me mm -hmm. for sure. People would probably be like, they should have been on my team the whole time. But you should like nice people. They're good. For the, they're good for the environment and all that shit. Really? Um, okay, well, let me shout out real quick. We have some shows. So I have the 21st of September. We have the Bars Up event. It's our fourth annual at Oak Park Brewery, uh, Sacramento. And it will be uh, Mac Mall is starring. And we have a battle going on. Sleep Dank's one of the people that's battling. Um, King Leo, Zoo Boy. We have a $500 uh, uh, prize for the winner of the Cypher. We have a 350 prize for the that's winner good. of the Domino competition. So that's going to be the 21st of right September. Make it 360. Um, well, oh, yeah, we should do that. You're yeah, right. I'll, I'll put a word. That's a good idea. I'll put a tip in for her to do that. That's Young Bosses. Um, she'll be in here on the 16th okay. of September to talk about that as well. So I'll be hosting alongside of Crystal three times, and that's DJ Mighty Mike on the wheels um we also have the 920 uh it's the 928 and, and it's going to be all things indie 14th year anniversary show so this will be our 14th year being in business for all things indie showcase yeah, that's a star. yeah terrence keith is is the star because he won the last one um the the whole, whole all things indie premise is that you win $250 cash prize if you have the best performance, and we base yeah. it on a crowd participation. Yep, so yep. if you bring your people, that's a, yeah. you're going to win. So exactly. period.com. That's how we used to do all our shows. Bring act your up. people, yeah. Every show, act up, you bring your people to our, our me and little Al, bring your people, you win. And that's kind of how we want it to be, too. you got to bring your people to win. So uh, that's going to be the 28th. And Taji D will be um, one of the opening acts for that as well. Ah, shout out Taj. Yep, Cat super B. dope, dude. Um, shout yep. out Cat B. Cat B, super dope, dude. I need to get Cat B in here, too. And then, um, like I said, we've got some really cool interviews. Like, the, I just hosted an open mic in Vallejo for Noble Cinema last Friday, and the winner of it won an interview with me here on the 23rd and that'll that's be the up. same time Bavgate's pulling up so that's solo c so he'll be in here with Bavgate. um do you have a favorite quote and what is it and exp ex ex like uh, explain it if you do like uh quote. you know they say you know i'm they say you know i'm the man around here some bullshit goldie's was oh, come get this work uh, that was goldie's favorite quote uh let me see I just like my tag. Mm -hmm. I just like my tag. Oh, what is it? They used to show my videos of Hooker Boy. Oh, yeah, there that's you go. There's quote. your favorite quote. Yeah, that's my, my quote. It's like a hashtag. It's like a hashtag. It's a quote. It'll work. Um, common myth about your job or field of expertise. What do people typically think something about you that isn't accurate with this job? Like, what are they, what's a common myth about videographers or movie makers? You gotta have patience. You mm. gotta, you gotta, you gotta stay up long nights. It's like, do people think that you're, you're just out here partying, or that it's not really a job? Because that's probably a common misunderstanding yeah, about a movie people maker. People really think it's not a job. It's hours. Oh it's yeah, lots and lots of hours. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, it takes hours. and like editing For alone. A little bit or nothing. Like you yeah. can shoot a whole this whole thing, but when you edit it down, it's gonna be a little bit of nothing. Yeah, my uh, my videographer could definitely relate. Mm -hmm. um, did you bring music into play? So mm -hmm. what did you bring? I brought um, my partner Two Forte, Livewire Two Forte. Oh yeah, he was in here. I got Tay on there. I got him on Livewire. I hooked him up with Jay Stalin. Nice. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, he was in here. Jay Stalin brought him in when he came in for his interview. Uh, who else I got? Oh, I got a new song with Lil Blood that's coming out on the. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna put it on a movie soundtrack or I'm gonna put it on this album I'm doing. I'm doing an album too. A I would love to figure out how to to doing, drive people towards you gotta do your a soundtrack. Drop. You got to do a drop for my album. For oh, my what's the album called? I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm gonna call it. it. Is it a comp? It's like a comp. compilation. I don't know. Old what I'm school call comp. It yet. That's yeah. gonna be some shit. That's I how I used so to far, hear all the new Little shit. So far, I got Fab Blood. I got a lot of songs from Just Allen. I got Fab Little Blood. I got Prezi. I got uh, Yuck Mouth. 
I interviewed Prezi six, I got five, a six years ago. Few people in there though. I got a few people already, but. Well, we'll have to look into that. But right now, we're going to go into that 24 Tay, um, 2 4 Tay. Uh, Eddie Projects. Eddie Projects. It's Eddie called Projects. I Try. Yeah. I try. I, that's why I try. Yeah, that's a good really song right there. Song. I like that. That's going to go on your comp? Yeah. Oh, no. That's going on the compilation. So, what, uh, for people out there that don't know, what do you have right now to go watch, stream, and then what are you working on? What's next? Well, we're supposed to drop uh, Bipping and Boosting today. It's a movie. Woo! That's going to get a drop. lot of views. We're supposed to drop that today, but somehow we didn't. It's complications, a little complication. But that's going to drop like probably this weekend. That's going to be a great, that's going to be highly viewed because, you know, that's all any, anyone fucking talks about I in the Bay Area right doing, now. Man. It's crazy. Bipping and boosting. It's, it's, it's cold. It's all about females. My girl in there, uh, we got Lady Wu, we got Diamond, uh, Old Diamond, we got Kiki, who else? We got uh, Jess Bang, we got Mr. Fab. Just Bang's supposed to be coming in here with Just me. Bang, I haven't yeah. booked the we date got, yet, though. We got a move. We got, we got, it's, go, it's cool. Yeah, so I'm ready to see that. YouTube. This guy in the chair next to you looks like somebody that would be in Pippin' and Boosting. Yeah, he's up there. He's <laughs> Pippin' and Boosting. Man. Pippin', I have to say, you put me on to Glitta, and I'm a big fan. Like She's, a, she's a great I, artist. Yeah. Uh, um, the brat coming out here. The brat replayed her song. Like the brat, ooh, was playing her song live, like it recorded her live, like this for glitter? glitter. Yeah, just playing glitter song. So, oh man, the brat about to come out here. So I try, I'm trying to hook it up so she can go with us to see the brat. Some good. That's good taste so right she there. Can see the brat because glitter be dope. is dope. Yeah, I'd love to get them glitter together as far as like you know compile it. That's saying Quinn first cousin. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I just talked that's to Quinn today. Actually, that's how I met her. Um, um, I, I hit him up and he's like, you know, I need to come in for my two year, every two years with or without a manager visit. And I'm like, yeah, you do. You need to bring it back. So, you know, I used to hang with Quinn years. years and years and years ago. So it's like, like I was telling Goldie, all of y'all are just recycling from 10, 15 years ago. And that is like such a good sign because it means that you, what you did it worked, right. you know, yeah, like for, for you sure. to be able to return and me to be able you to interview it. the same people um, the process. and get regulars, you know, that have like, like a, re a regular visit here because they want to drop their album or they want to promote their album. So just so anyone out there knows, we have um, changed some things here. We do have all of our licensing now. So we're ASCAP, BMI and CSAC licensed. Oh, okay. So anyone who comes up here, you're going to get spun um, up and coming artists you're going to see the royalties from the spin and an up and coming artists that are in my dm asking how to get on the show um, if you're wanting to know the website is in my bio and there are packages from 30 minutes all the way to like two hour takeover videos so make sure you go to the website and book today and then send me a screenshot and i'll make sure to get you a flyer and a date so that's kind of how we're doing it now uh, top shelf radio is still on they're on on um, tuesday nights but they are doing some pre-records and some live um, submission shows so tomorrow night they're doing a live music submission show they may already have the music for it but please tap in because you can get in on the next one um, as far as interviews coming up for the rest of the month i have um ori park is going to be in here this week they're an up-and-coming um social media or media uh, explorer they're doing the a lot of they're doing interviews now too and they've also been highlighting stockton and sacramento music and culture for a long time so uh, ori park's going to be in here thursday night as well as el solo um car god the pussy song he will be in here he's no stranger to 360 radio pussy yeah you ever heard it he no. said he says uh white pussy black pussy it was like all song about pussy 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 song it was like a whisper song but it was a pussy song <laughs> sacramento he, he it, it, famous viral el solo el solo but he's uh, he goes by car god now because he sells cars and he sells them well car um god. car god <laughs> cha-ching also we have uh, you need to get him in a movie what happened to the world because he's gonna be he's Jack. he's a character as fuck like crazy character um we have alita turner here on monday night the ninth. she's gonna be telling stories about how she kind of started in the radio scene here in sacramento in the early days um and we have loe gino is gonna be here as well that night as well as devin jones jones 
in space. Mm. So uh, Simone from Young Bosses, La Dabliata, she's coming to, to cook for us on the 16th. Uh, Billy Bavgate, uh, Solo C, as well as Deshaun Forrest will be in here on the 23rd. Um, we go all the way into October. So make sure you book today so you can get it in for October, November, uh, and we'll get the flyer running and all that stuff. Um, as far as people you want to shout out, anyone you want to plug, um, artists that you're looking at, what now's your time to do that? Let them know. Uh, Even actors everybody. you want to plug. I want to shout out everybody that really genuinely fuck with me. All the rest of the fakes that just come use and the you know they come. There's a lot of people that come that try to use you. You know, oh, try I to know. Give what, try to get what they can, but. They really don't get what they all well, well, they don't really get all they need from me. They get what they can, and they think they got it, but they run off. <laughs> but you can see it. You can see yeah. right through. So yeah. So uh, and it's a lot of gatekeepers. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of people that got that got lines that can give up the phone numbers or it can make a phone call, but they don't do. Do you ever find yourself in a position to where you have to be a gatekeeper, or do you no, give up the game? A, I'll never be a gatekeeper. I give up the game to a lot, too many people. Yeah, same. And when I give it to, when I give it to the people that, I give it to the, like to the people that don't deserve it. Same. It seemed like I, I gave a lot of my time to the people that 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 backdoor me more than my kids or something. <laughs> <laughs> shit like that. Right. Like your family. All this time I could have been spending with my family or my kids or you know something else, but. And they gave a lot of time to people that didn't deserve it. Well, you assume that everyone comes in with a good intention, and yeah. they don't always. They don't. So you the have majority to look at of them don't. So you have to. So you have to protect your your. Uh, you have to protect your brand. You have to protect yourself. It's a lot of people try to steal my brand. It's a lot of people try to steal you know, our name. Like things I've done. It's a lot of people put their name on. It. It's a lot of people take your work just because you put their logo. Or you try to be helpful and mm-hmm. put their name on there. They take your work and use it. No and credit. Get another job mm-hmm. and leave you out. It's, it's it's crazy shit going on like in the industry, like just in the world, like period. In the world, not even the industry, just the world. Like people are really it's, it's not cool. Would you say that this uh, digital uh, generation Im- yeah. improved us, or did it hinder us, or is it, it helpful hindered. and it's, hurtful? It's hurtful. It's 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 hurtful because. Anybody can steal. They can steal now. They don't even got to pay for nothing. They can just, in some way, they can steal it. Absolutely. There's no, there's no way you can go around that. They can steal it. They and then uh, how is it, uh, for people out there who may be trying to upload to Tubi or movie channels, how is it uh, for criteria? Do you have to, what do you have to follow to be considered to upload to these channels that carry your movies? Do you have, like, s- certain rules and regulations, or do you know you of any? You have a distributor. Okay, so you have to have your distribution down yeah. packed. Okay, and then and they'll yeah, be able to get it to those channels. It's so many, it's so many, um, it's so many, uh, what you call it, uh, Deliverables okay. that you gotta, you gotta, you gotta approve. So there's a lot of stuff you gotta do to really get a movie on Tubi and a movie into the film world. It's like it's not just making a movie, putting it out. It's certain uh, uh, megahertz, it's certain speed, it's certain right, it's certain uh, you know frames everything got to be on point and so that's the kind of thing that i would think that not everyone would know like yeah, you know you have to be an expert in this to know that type yeah, of stuff you have to have, that's why a lot of people just trying to do it but you don't see too many bay area movies because people don't have the patience or they don't have the research right the resources so they come to me and then they try to get the game and they still don't i've been trying to do a movie with everybody like i i, I did a movie we call sliding it's gonna come out on halloween that's with cookie money fab big mud uh, filthy. It's a lot. Everybody in there. So yeah, I'm, I can't wait. It's a lot of movies. It's it, it, it's a it's all oh, we did it in 2017, but uh, somehow the car, the hard drive crashed. We oh, had to re, you know, re- what a the shit, son so. of a bitch. So that movie coming out, we got Bippin and Princess and Mess coming out this weekend. The price is already out. The price is already out. Six hundred thousand views. Sheesh, that's a lot of uh, views for independently promoted yeah. movie. Like yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of views. Before. And that's on YouTube Evol- or Tubi? Evol 2. Ev- season, oh, season Evol. 2. We're working on season 2 this weekend. You heard this it. This weekend, season 2. They're starting it, season 2 this weekend. Mm-hmm. What's the future for you? What do you want to get into? What's your like your dream? What's your goals? What do you got right now? My goal is to make a movie, like a real a real movie. Like one of those movies that you, a whole, 
like Boys in the Hood type movie. Oh, where yeah. it's going to be a motion, classic. A big real major classic. motion picture. Not even major motion because, like, Friday wasn't even ready. Huh? It, it was smaller. Friday was smaller. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, that, yes, Friday was smaller, like like a movie like that, just a classic movie. You and know that's, what the, you know what's going to push the numbers on that is the people that watch it. Yeah, so. that's the one. That's so, going to yeah, be the goal. On then that. I'm working on a school I got coming out. Oh, uh, like a, to teach this? Yep. Nice. Well, so, I've always yeah. wanted to join in on that. Real school. Real school. R-E-E-L. Oh, clever. Yeah. Um, if you ever need a part where, because I've been trying to get in how, on how to teach, like, younger females how to to talk on a microphone and, yeah. and do broadcasting and this up. type of multimedia thing yeah, we, need to hook up and do that. we can definitely i would love to lead that type of yeah. class um on the space brody loke said what up what up what's um, up brody brody yes so oakland is no Sean. stranger here to 360 we're in here a yeah, lot brody, brody. sack royalty much love to sack royalty we just had um fully holographic last week slid through with um oh, hell wordplay fully, fully raw so, oh, different he, I didn't even have to talk that whole interview. He's he just so sliced funny. the mic like the whole time. So he just talked. To it. <laughs> it was great. And it can fucking freestyle like crazy. He, can, he go crazy. I love. That's one of my favorite artists. I keep telling him, Philly is is man, he great. He's excellent at what he, he does great. too. And he does a lot of these. And um, he got the image. He got the whole mm -hmm. whole thing down pat. Like as a well, rapper. Well, funny. That's what you' supposed to be. Like you' supposed to have a you' supposed to have a character. Because I was, like, trying to offer him, and Wordplay was in here with him. H hella Wordplay. He oh, yeah, had just yeah, gotten yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I was wordplay, trying to offer them, like, too. weed, and they're both like, we're sober, you know? And I'm like, oh, I'm the degenerate in this scenario, you know? The smoker, the drinker, the pill popper, all that shit. So they're like, yeah, we don't want, we don't got no parts of that. So it was super dope to flip the script because it's like, well, usually I'm pushing edibles and people want them, and these two guys are like, no, we're God body, you know, like... <laughs> We're yeah, trying to we're trying to lead by example here. You Hell know? of funny, but serious though. Yeah, at the same time, super dope. Um, Be dope though. Uh, yes, yes. Dynasty, the artist, is tuned in too. So, did you have another song we're playing, and then we will come back in and uh, um, gonna, take some pictures? We're gonna play a uh, song. Uh, I want to play his little blood exclusive. But, did you? Uh, what'd you give him? I got him two songs. What did you? What? What's the other song, uh, Jay? I got uh uh uh. Let's play a juicy song. Juicy, oh, Juicy, seven, juicy. Uh, juicy seven, the seven, female, yeah. yeah. So uh, you seven, can go ahead seven. and run that song in by Juicy, JDZ on the wheels, y'all. It's your girl, Mickey, 360 Radio. Like, you can go back to the 70s, whatever. You can go back to 81, and you can hear the same music. Like, you can hear the music. It's all just like, uh, just like, uh, what you call it, not house music, but uh, uh, what we had at... Uh, what music we had in, at, in the 90s? It was oh, called... Oh, uh, techno? No, no, it was uh, called... Uh, it's called. I was just listening to it. It's called. Uh, house, no. Not house. It's called. Uh, 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 man, I was just listening to EDM? it on my phone. No. no, it's called. Uh, what were you listening to? And I'll give you a try. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Right, real, yeah, real in quick. the nineties. Look, nineties. Uh, um, I just had it on the tip of my tongue again. Damn, <laughs> damn it, damn it, the 90s. 90s music. Hold on. It's called. Uh, Damn. It's all right. Well, it'll come back to you. 90s music. Watch this. Yeah. So how does how do people get Hooker Boy to be their videographer? How do they hire you? Uh, they hit me on uh, Instagram. DM. DM me, Hooker Boy Films, H-O-O-K-E-R-B-O-Y-F-I-L-M-Z. Do you have any That's criteria me. to work with someone? Like, do you take deposit? Do you have to? Oh, yeah, do they have deposit. to have a treatment first? Deposit. It, it all depends on what you want. Okay. I see. Like you're if, doing you want, the mic if you drops want, if you want, if you want a treatment, then it's more. I mean, it's, it's different prices. Man, I know. I want to know what the '90s music was called too. It was. Uh, you're jugging my brain. Put the thing on. Uh, <laughs> swank, swank, not swank. Uh, <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, God. New, New Jack, Jack swing. swing, New Jack Swing. There you go, right Teddy there. And there you go. But it's it's, a, it's New Jack Swing. It's yeah. not just put in New Jack Swing and watch what's gonna happen. Oh yeah. And all a lot of music gonna come up. But it got that same kind of sound. It's the um, it's that same kind of sound. Just R like Kelly, right now, it's the same kind of sound. Hey, Heidi, all that, that New Jack Swing. Yeah, the shit. New Jack Swing. Yeah. It's New Jack Swing. That's the sound of the '90s. So you got the sound of the 2000s or the or the 20. 20 21st century and that's what they sound like her yeah that's so super it's like, juicy we just came out of juicy, juicy just so you know juicy raw i am, I am juicy, juicy.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 707, huh? She's definitely um, a different breed. Like I was telling you, she come, she came in with two other really dope artists, A1 Yola, A1 Yola. And, and Del Tris. And A1 Yola is the girl that was singing, that was rapping, right? Yeah, A1 is the um, girl who did like the, the video skinny shoot girl too, right? The, 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 she, she had the cola bottle painted on her. She's um, she A1 she Yola. She had a cola bottle painted? Yeah, she was painted like a bottle of Coke because she's cola, you know, A1 Yola. Oh, my cola. God. Wow. She's, she's, she's super dope. She, uh, she, she, she does a at? lot of um, shows with um, DJ Gutta Butta. Yes, yes. Um, oh, yeah, butter. And then she's dog. been opening Chris for Sonic. Stunna Girl. So she's oh, okay. definitely out there. Um, A1 Yola's been out in the Bay for many, many years. But her song that caught my ear was called Playing With These Hoes. But, and it's a messy Mar flip. With the, oh, that's the one. That's I'm the, playing with that you is, That's the one that looked like, that looked like uh, Juicy, right? It's similar, yeah. Skinny, yeah, yeah. yeah. She raw, too. She, I, I, I didn't just know her. Smurf is her uncle. Yeah, Smurf. DJ Smurf. Smurf, DJ Smurf, the legendary DJ Smurf is her uncle. So I was like, Smurf, cut it up. That's my boy. Yeah, that's back Dre. We that's back the day. See, they don't know that story. That side, the crest side. <laughs> yeah, they don't know the crest well, story about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure I'm you've been around land, man. forever. I moved to the crest. It was over. I moved to the crest in '87. Wow, oh, wait, 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 lived out there. Yeah, we lived there. Nice. I went to school there and everything. What's your uh, most memorable story about the Vallejo? Ooh, the romp days. You know, everybody <laughs> used to just get in the car and just. We either steal a car, or we hop in the car with somebody, and everybody just be a hundred deep, and you just mm-hmm. be doing this all day in the car, dipping all around the world. Mm-hmm. The uh, the crest, the Vallejo, that changed like like my whole life. Like I would have probably been in jail or dead if I wouldn't have probably moved to Vallejo. Like in my teenage years, because I was like I was a definition of hyphy. Shout I was out, bad as fuck. Shout I out to Vallejo. Hella shit. Vallejo, we had hella fun. It was a country then. It was real country. Mm-hmm. It was too country. Well, you know, um, I mean, that's a lot of my Doobie favorite my people first, from there. Doobie yeah. was my first friend I met. It was Doobie. Doobie. Um, yep, major. I was out, out in a, they invited me out to a, a, it was like an Airbnb in Wilton in the middle of nowhere. They were doing um, him, Diggs, uh, Mall. They were all doing recording out there. So I came out there and um, I ha- ended up hanging out with them for the night and the studio was in the basement bathroom of this mansion right so it, well it was regular studio but something happened so they had to take it into the bathroom for the, the sound to be right so i had to hold my phone my cell phone light behind him doobie digs sleep dang and mall like i have j- this this historical footage <laughs> of me in the bathroom in the basement of this mansion recording them literally writing they just wrote it and spit it like right in front of me so um i remember jay Diggs saying i'm in a bathroom bitch like with with tega you know like he was like pretending it was like in the basement you know yeah, i was in with the art mall jump remember them dudes oh. with the jump the art mall on the, on the motorcycle i can't remember i mean arden has seen some crazy <laughs> no this dude days. had a thing on arden mall you ain't never seen it on true tv with jay said he just oh, didn't yes. make it mm-hmm. <laughs> i was mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. oh you were <laughs> yeah yeah, I know Dre used to live out here, too. But that nigga hit a jump and did not make it. <laughs> it was all in Arden Mall in the parking lot. <laughs> like, I mean, imagine some he, of the old the footage shit tucked away we used at your to pull house. Up on, the shit we used to pull up on, blood, I swear to God, used to be so many. Like, that was the that was a many, that was a many, uh, I Dre them story when I pulled up on them niggas. They, had that, they was at the Arden Mall with a nigga on a motorcycle. On a runway, like a ramp. Mm. I'm like, what? He, he tried to do it for Mac Dre. Wow, that's that's crazy. <laughs> I'm sure he was trying to show Dre. He broke his neck, though. Um, and that's funny because Gold, Goldie was just talking about how I met him, and I met him at Ricky's downtown when it was still Ricky's Club. It was yeah, like Ricky's old school. Old school. Yeah. And he came out to bum a cigarette off me, and I was smoking like marble one hundreds. I was like, I don't remember that, but I do remember that. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> so uh, we got to get out of here now. We're gonna take, take some pictures, but long live Tan. I wanted to say long that because sure. I know I that that was like piece, super unexpected. Yeah, you know, that was a little sus, man. That was crazy. Yeah, I know she's by so many and um just all you videographers out there who Tap need the blueprint like just watch this man just watch him work just come come to me let's all i'm let's sure he it. could let's use work. apprentices i'm sure yeah. he could use people to help him like let's, let's work he's not shy and he will talk to you he's not he's not a dick you know what i mean like yeah, he's yeah. actually a really nice guy 